huge Derek flashback episode. What can yeah. you tell the people to expect from them? <laughs> um, we're, we're really proud of this episode. Um, it's one of the, the most uh, different of our episodes that we've done. Um, and we, we've taken a lot of experiments, uh, done a lot of experiments this season with the uh, timeline with episode five, which was sort of like a whole fiction-y timeline episode. Uh, episode six, which was very much a, a bottle episode and uh, a kind of... Uh, homage to The Shining a little bit, but uh, this one, this flashback episode that takes us back to Derek's past, is, um, it's really, we're really proud of it, and uh, uh, my editor, uh, one of my editors, Gabe Fleming, did an amazing job in, uh, with both the music and the pace of the story, and you get, you get to a lot of insight into the Hale family, a lot of questions are answered, especially uh, the question about the color of uh, a werewolf's eyes, so you're going to learn why Derek's eyes are blue and not uh, yellow. It's just one of the things we're obsessed with this season, but I have to say, I cannot get enough of Isaac living in town. <laughs> in last week's episode, when you and Scott were watching over Mr. Pond, you were sleeping at Scott's feet. It was really adorable and amazing. What have you enjoyed about having him under the McCall roof this year? Talk to me a little bit about how Danny's morality is going to start affecting Ethan. 
Well, it's the, the idea that uh, uh, you can change, but sometimes you need uh, another person to instigate that change within you. And uh, those things happen to both characters, I think, uh, coming up in, in episodes to uh, Ethan and Aiden. They're changed by the people they start calling for unexpectedly. So. Uh, it's, a, uh, it's a it's a nice character art to be able to do, especially with the bad guys when they become good. Max, for you, what is it like? I mean, you and your brother obviously work together a lot. You've got sort of this symbiosis with the characters also working together. Mm -hmm. uh, what do you sort of like about the relationship your on-screen characters have? Well, it's 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 you know it's wild how sometimes um, a job or a story like this mirrors your real life. Charlie and I actually moved in together for the first time since we were 10 years old, right before we started shooting this show. So we had a lot of stuff to deal with between both of us, and uh, <laughs> it, was, it was wild shooting the show and kind of negotiating the same things. And uh, in terms of working with my brother, I mean, you know, we, we work on some other projects together, and it's amazing to have like a constant ally. Um, you know, it, this business can be weird because we'll, we'll fly off somewhere, we'll do work, and you're by yourself. But you know, for the most part, for the, for this project and some others, I have someone who's who's there with me. And, and the coolest part is I get to share it with someone. It's not like I, I, I tell my friends about it and come back. It's like I, I got someone who's by my side the whole time. So that's a, that's a good thing. Because I was an identical twin myself, and that's exactly how we grew up. It was having your best friend always right next to you. So, and now one of them gets to be inside the other. You know, obviously.